Well, I thought we'd have a nice quiet night on the beach. No, you can't. They've done it so you can't sleep. Oh. After shipping our UK van to Korea, we met Juan, who was happy to share with us some of his favourite off the beaten spots here in Korea. The world's largest mailbox. And after following his advice, we hiked to the most amazing mountain temple and waterfall. And now we're excited for you to join us on our Korean van life adventure as we continue up the east coast of Korea. A ship in port is safe, but that's not what a ship is built for. Sail out to sea and do new things. Grace Hopper. We made it back. Oh, and we've cooled off, we've got the aircon blasting. And now we're gonna head in inland towards our next destination. Toll booth. Don't go on the blue one. Okay. Yes. Stay in the red one. Continue straight until you hear the next instruction. There you go. Ah, okay. Ticket. Okay, let's see how we do with this. I think they must charge you by your vehicle when you get there. Because some of them have truck lanes as well as normal lanes, as well as prepaid lanes. The heavens are just about to open. Looking a little bit grey. About 500 meters ahead. They got these fake police cars just to make you slow down. <laughs> okay, it's going to have to be the non-green one. Yeah. Yeah, just this one. Don't go in the blue one. Three. Three. One, two, three. Oh. Ah. <laughs> 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 She's sweet, isn't she? Yeah. This whole valley for miles is filled with more apple trees. Yep. Mile after mile of apple trees. Sure, if they have cider like we have cider, but they've definitely got a lot of apples. Nice. Arriving on the outskirts of Andong, we start looking for a park up for the night. Okay, so we've found this little car park, but we're not sure whether we're allowed to park it, so we're going to go and try and read the sign with Google Translate. That looks nice. Two and a half hours. Okay, it says no unauthorized parking, which is and probably us. <laughs> it's probably us. Okay. So we'll go, we'll go down, down the road a bit. I did see there was another public car park a couple of miles down the road. Okay, not the most scenic parking spot, but it is convenient. And we've noticed there's a eSmart 24 hours over there. There is a coffee shop there and there is a sign to toilets there so they might keep them open. And so hopefully just... we should be all right parking here. I don't think anybody will say anything. And it's not just a coffee shop, it's a bakery. There you go. Ice coffee. We found a nice coffee shop that does ice coffee with plug sockets next to the tables. They've even got paper straws. So this might be our little editing spot tomorrow. So whenever we use public Wi-Fi, we use Surfshark VPN. It creates an encrypted tunnel which keeps our personal information safe. I mean, the last thing you want is somebody hacking your webcam during those private moments. <gasps> we recommend the Surfshark One Bundle because it gives you the added benefit of getting alerts on personal information breaches virus protection and allows you to browse the internet in complete privacy 
And right now, Surfshark is offering Tread the Globe followers an exclusive offer, which includes three months for free. And that's monthly protection for less than we've just spent on two coffees. To get started, simply click the link in the description below or scan the QR code and use the code Tread the Globe. So it's gone dark now and we've come down to the, uh, to the river. The bridge is beautifully lit up at night and there's lightning going off in the distance. I think there's going to be a bit of a storm later, maybe. There's these little boats that people have obviously rented and they're lit up like different coloured moons. This magnificent bridge spanning the Nakdong River is known as the Waryongyo Bridge, which translates as Moonlight Bridge. At 387 metres, it is the longest pedestrian bridge in South Korea and is a magnificent sight in the day or night. Right in the centre of the bridge is a magically lit pavilion where you can sit and admire the view. <laughs> magical spot we're right in the middle of the river though you cannot be scared of spiders because there are webs everywhere every corner turn away as a web don't look now <laughs> good morning welcome back to another morning here in korea and we're back on the bridge doesn't it look different during the day compared to what it did last night and there's a difference in temperature I it's, cannot tell yeah it's, it's huge it's actually not cold it's still like 25 degrees but yeah. it's like the perfect temperature now yeah with a breeze so this morning we're heading to the Andong folk village um, which is just the other side of this bridge Well, oh, I've just got caught in one of those spider webs. There is literally a spider. Look at that, it's, it's like so strong. Oh, there was a man coming with a broom brushing all the cobwebs because I did see lots of girls going past last night squealing at the uh, prospect of getting caught in a web. <laughs> Hello. 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 That's what you call a pond. That is stunning, isn't it? That's really beautiful. Welcome to the Andong Folk Village. Not to be confused, as we were, with the nearby Andong Haho Folk Village, which is a World Heritage Site. We didn't realise that there were two folk villages with the same name. Nevertheless, this smaller folk village is free to get into and has a wonderful collection of old traditional style Korean houses. <laughs> wow. Look at this for a house. This is absolutely beautiful. Wandering through the village, it takes you back in time and you can imagine what it was like here when all of Korea would have looked like this. I actually put bug spray on, but I can't tell you how many mosquitoes are buzzing around my head right now. <laughs> There's a lot of mosquitoes. The style of this house is different. This is a a stone house that's been sort of built with mud 
and a straw roof. This has got such an amazing feel about it, hasn't it? I feel like I've stepped back in time. jump back into Trudy and now we're gonna head all the way to the coast and then start a little bit north and then hopefully tonight we can find a nice park up with a view uh, over a beach or of the ocean that would be wonderful Nice to be able to drive with the windows open and the aircon off and still get that breeze that's cool enough to cool you down uh, if you're not moving. If you stand still, it's still pretty humid, but the wind that's coming through feels really nice today. We just drove driving past a random village like theme park on the other side with bright red roofs and there was a picture of Santa Claus. I think it's Korea's Santa world maybe. Just stopped to make a quick coffee at this little uh, roadside station. Public safety alert, my sweet. What does that say? The water level of the river is expected to rise due to the discharge of water in the Imha Dam up to 30 tons per second. So uh, I think that's a lot. So basically you, don't sleep near, near a river. river evacuate <laughs> to a safe place. Oh, so they're expecting flooding from the rivers. Yeah. All right, round two. Didn't expect to see such nice mountain views today. This road would be amazing on a, on a clear sunny day. This road has lots and lots of tunnels, but the tunnels are great because they allow wildlife to walk over the top. It's that time again. It's a self-service, it which does. could be interesting. It's so hard filling up at these pumps because you just, you just don't know don't know how to fill it up. We might have to ask somebody for help, but we'll see. That's see, I don't even know what, what color it is. No, 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 blue, I think green is, green is diesel. You think? Oh, it's, it says diesel there, I think. Does that say diesel? Yeah, it does, green is diesel. Green is diesel, that's a good start. Just spotted a member of staff. Okay, and it's all in Korean. There's a man. There's a man. There's a man. Full. Full. Yeah. <laughs> the attendant was looking a bit confused. Not sure if it was the number plate or something else, but if he's confused, well then no wonder we are. 
It can also get a bit confusing which pump is diesel because it seems like the colour isn't standard. Luckily for us, for the first time here in Korea, it also has it in English. All filled up, total of 56 pounds from near the NT. Not bad. Okay, we've only got a few kilometers to the beach. There's the sea, there's a couple of lighthouses and a harbor. So it should be down there. Oh, there's a brown sign. It'll be left down there. We were craving a nice beach spot and we'd found one on the iOverlander app, but sometimes it doesn't quite work out as planned. What the hell's that? I don't know. Why don't you get in there then? I don't That's all closed. It's closed off, you're not there, done it so you can't sleep. What is that? We spotted a couple of guys parked up behind the barrier. So Marianne went to ask them if it was okay to park here for the night. Yeah. It's closed, is it? Yeah, closed. No, Actually, there's a there's a rope on the uh, on the toilets there as well. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're basically just going to head up the coast and uh, see what we can find. <laughs> we're on an adventure. It's always the adventure. That's that's actually the best part of the trip is when you don't actually know where you're going. We followed the coastal road north. There was some roadside parking and a few tents in the trees, but it wasn't the beach spot that we were looking for. So we continued looking. So we're just shooting on the main road, just past the next town, and then we'll go back to the coast again. It's normally easier just out of, out of towns rather than in towns to find a park up. We spotted another coast road, but when we turned off, realized that the road had been blocked. So we turned around and continued looking. Okay, another coastal road. We found a beach, but there wasn't any parking. But no, we're not giving up yet. Uh, yeah. We turned off to a small town. Okay, this is looking hopeful. At least there's a nice beach. Oh my goodness, this is like, this is like we're a holiday, a holiday I, town. I think we are. Okay, maybe we've just arrived in Korea's version of Ibiza. Palm trees. You know you're in a party <laughs> place when there are plastic <laughs> palm trees. Hi. Hi. <laughs> but we spotted a car park, so thought we'd better park up and go and have a look. It's not the quiet. It's not like the quiet beach park up I, I was planning. Were you planning a nice quiet? Oh, well, I thought we'd have a nice quiet night on the beach. Well, if you look that way, it's very pretty and quiet. Let's go and have a look. Right opposite the party places. There's <laughs> no better way to meet local people than when everyone's had a drink because suddenly the language situation becomes a lot easier. I think the beach looks nice. Let's go and have a look down there. It did have quite a nice looking beach but wandering around at 4 p.m. in the afternoon, there was already loud dance music echoing down the street. <laughs> somehow, somehow it seems like we've ended up in a, in a party town with, loads of, with loads of music blasting and surfers. And many young people who had obviously had one too many drinks. Maybe a few years ago, we would have partied all night with them, but not tonight. <laughs> So, although we're up for a bit of a party, as you know, um, we just decided all the nightclubs, the bars, and all the <laughs> all the young drunk kids that we've exact, just we've just word, decided we're just going to go down to the next beach. The exact words were, "All the cool young people are here, and that's why all the cool old people." Look, there's are a here. there's a police car there now. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Right, next beach. This looks a little bit less manic. Yeah, and there's parking there, so we can always 
So parking. that's parking for an emergency. Plan B. Okay, finally we've managed to find a car park next to the beach. Not the idyllic beach park up that we'd hoped for, but it will do for us for the night. It's a bit better, Marianne, isn't it? It's a little bit quieter now. They also have showers and a bathroom. Oh, wow. I don't know whether they're open all day. You probably have to pay for them, but that's okay. Yeah, this is a much quieter beach. You can rent tubes and canoes as well. Sand. Oh, it's lovely. <gasps> oh, it's freezing. Flipping it, it is freezing and suddenly goes very deep. But if you think <laughs> about it, Vladivostok somewhere just that way. Yeah, literally, Russia's. We were originally going to get the boat from Vladivostok here. Cold. It's very it cold. It's very cold. Okay, maybe tomorrow when the sun comes out, we'll get. <laughs> That's surprisingly chilly when it's been so hot. What do you reckon? I reckon this will do for the night. We just met this lovely young man What's from Canada. Yeah, from Canada, Toronto. What's My your name? Nathan. <laughs> Nathan. Nathan's on vacation here in Korea and he just saw Trudy. Is it a bit crazy? Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, mind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> it's always great to inspire the next generation there to you get go. out there and do whatever you want to do and live your best life. So work hard at school. Save hard <laughs> and live your dream. And maybe no, I don't think I'm gonna try hard at school. Oh, you should. Oh, you should. Cut that. Mum and Dad don't watch that bit. <laughs> <laughs>